Hello everybody, it's your boy Universal Veteran here again with another video and I know I said that I wasn't planning on making any kind of update videos for a long time but I decided that maybe it would be okay to upload a few more videos onto my YouTube channel. I uploaded I believe three videos about a month ago talking about my job and what I do and I figured since I've gotten a few things done since then that I should talk about them because they're pretty significant. First things first, um, I got a vasectomy. I did that two days ago and I am currently sore as shit right now. I've been taking medication and I've been trying <laughs> my best to like fucking feel better but like sleeping is a pain in the ass i could barely sleep on my side like last night i woke up like six times in a row and <laughs> i took a few days off of work just so i could recover because it's it's kind of a killer right now but it's one of those things where i would rather deal with this pain than dealing with the possibility of having an oopsie child and yeah, dealing with 18 years of pain instead of <laughs> a week of pain. So I got a vasectomy. I can no longer have kids. Ander is going to be the only child in my house um, going forward. And I have no problems with that. I'm 28 years old and I have no problems with him being the only child. Um, I told Ander about it and I talked to him about it. I asked him a couple times if he wanted to have any... Um, brothers or sisters and granted he's still only six he'll be seven in April but from what he said he doesn't want to have any siblings so maybe that will change in the future but at this point it don't really matter now because I can't do anything to change it um, <laughs> he's gonna be the only child regardless another thing too that I can talk about I talked about my weight loss back in December and I went to the doctor yesterday, and so far, I have lost around 40 pounds. I went from 307, and now I'm 269, so I've lost about 10 pounds over the past 50 days um, that I, from my last doctor's appointment, which is a pretty significant amount. I mean, I wanted more, I wanted to lose more weight, but I can't do anything about that. Um, I did the best that I could over the past month and a half. So yeah, I'm hoping based on the math and based on like what I should be losing, um, nine months from now, I should be back down to my pre or my post military weight when I got out of the army, um, which at that time I was 210, 215. Um, so right now I'm shooting for 215. Maybe in a few months I might decide to actually start working out. Um, but right now I'm still too heavy. I mean, I could work out. I really could. But I just feel like if I did it right now, I wouldn't see much of a result. And if I gained weight or gained muscle, I would feel bad. And I feel like I was cheating and not actually losing the weight. So... Overall, I'm just going to continue the, what I've been doing with my diet and eventually lose the weight. And once I get down to maybe about 230, 220, that's when I will decide to actually start going to the gym on a regular basis to continue to lose weight. Now, for the third major thing, this happened back in December. I told you guys about my car um, and how I was close to paying it off. Well, since the prices of everything have skyrocketed, the total amount that I owe... The total amount that I owed for my um, remaining balance of the old car um, was less than what the trade-in value was. So after building my credit up for over the past year, I decided to go to the car dealership and get a new vehicle. And I can happily say that I finally got my dream car again after I left the Army. And here we go. I got a 2018 Chrysler 300 Unlimited. I will get in and show you real quick oh, oh I love this fucking car I really do it's dirty right now but I've kept the interior pretty immaculate besides I bought these um, custom pads 
that overlap the car. Oh, let me zoom out if I can. But yeah, so it is completely... Um, I'm going to turn off the car soon, but as a touchpad, everything, and I mean, it's the limited version of the car. And I installed custom LED lights inside the vehicle. I don't want to die of carbon dioxide poisoning. I just recently got a dash cam too, but yeah, it is fucking awesome. Um, I'm absolutely in love with the car. Granted, the payments are more expensive than what I was paying originally for the old vehicle, but... Um, I've always wanted a Chrysler 300. I had one when I was in the army. Um, when I got out of the army, I didn't have a job at the time, so I couldn't make the payments. So ultimately I got that car repossessed. And ever since then, I've been wanting to get my Chrysler back. So after building up my credit for the past year and what I just said with my old car and the payments and everything, I decided what the hell and went ahead and got the vehicle. Um, I'm currently, it has 89,000 miles on it. I have an extended warranty of 30,000 miles on it. Um, with the shortages and the back stock of everything um, in the United States, the cost of the vehicle was more than what it was originally supposed to be just because of supply and demand. Um, but after everything's said and done, I owe it $25,000 on a... Um, 80 or uh, 72 month lease which is bad i would have rather had 48 months or four years to pay it off but since i don't have any plans in owning any other vehicle besides a chrysler um i don't mind the extra years having to pay for the car because i plan on keeping it regardless once i'm done paying it off i'm going to keep this vehicle it doesn't matter until it breaks down completely. And I will just get an upgraded version of the Chrysler in six years. That's if they continue to make the Chrysler in six years from now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Another thing too is one of my friends, he's from North Dakota. Um, I've known him. I actually met him online um, a few years ago. And in a few months from now, I've decided to let him come down and move in with me. He's gonna stay in the empty room upstairs that's not being used. And um, I'm gonna help him get a job, I'm gonna help him get a car and his license and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a, a roommate. Just because, I mean, I've been in this house for two years now alone and I'm starting to get, not necessarily um, lonely, I won't say that. It's more of, I want somebody else to interact with in this house besides me and Ander. So I'm going to let him move in and he's going to stay here for however long until he can get his life in order and eventually move out. Um, what was I, what else was I going to say? Um, fuck. Well, this isn't really, I mean, it's all on the early stages so far, but I start my, the nail tech that I go to, the nail lady who does my nails every single week, um, she's Vietnamese and she has, I've been going to her for about three, four years now and we've gotten close enough to become pretty good friends. Um, and she recommended me to potentially try to hook up with one of her family members. Um, who is currently in Vietnam, which this is all in the early stages because we just talked about it two weeks ago and her cousin, um, which is the person that she's trying to hook me up with, she's 22 years old and um, I've been talking to her on the phone. The only problem is the language barrier is kind of an issue and she doesn't speak English that well. I don't know how it's going to work out I don't know if it's gonna be a thing. I mean, it could all end in a week or two from now. I don't know. I'm just bringing it up here just to kiss, talk about something because I don't know what else to talk about. Um, yeah, so I'm talking to her right now and maybe something will happen in the future, maybe not. I don't know, I really don't know. Besides that, continuing to extend my book collection 
as you can see us had to add an extra layer right here because I'm running out of room um, I finally filled up that bottom spot right there I actually bought a new bookcase and like I said if you guys don't know every single book that I own on these shelves I have read I don't after I'm done reading a book I go and purchase it and I put it on the shelf so all of these I've read either at work or at home but yeah, so I just, I'm going to continue to extend it. I bought another one of these bookshelves yesterday and I'm going to set it right there. And I'm just going to start putting all the, the actual light novel books on that shelf. And then the manga is going to fit on there. Besides that, I have also, I think I showed you guys a little bit of this last time, but I bought this custom, um, uh, fuck, turn on. I bought this custom entertainment center off of Amazon. It cost me like $600. But it's a, um, a heated furnace in the middle of it. Um, these LED lights, I've added those too because I thought they were cool. And then I have these stands for my action figures that I've been collecting. Um, this is kind of a, a work in progress because I got a lot of them. This is another one of the hobbies that I enjoy doing. I just got that guy yesterday for pretty cheap at the comic book store. Um, eventually, I'm going to upgrade this TV and I'm probably going to get it to a 70-inch Um uh, yeah, and then this upcoming, oh, actually, I bought this new computer from last time. Um, I actually make monthly payments on this one um, because of the shortages of chips and everything. It's fucking expensive for a computer. Other than that, my current goals, few months, are Anders going to be 7 in April. I still have my old computer that I'm going to gift to him. I'm gonna factory reset it and I'm gonna get it um, working pretty good. And I'm going to um, organize his room and I'm gonna turn it into a gaming room for him. So I'm gonna have a custom monitor. I'm gonna give him my old PC. Granted, he's still young so he doesn't, he won't be using it, but it's, I'm gonna get the items that are high quality to the point to where he, it's gonna last him for multiple years. Um, and I'm just going to decorate his gaming room in a way that's going to be the same. So I'm not just going to, I'm not going to put like a Fortnite or a fucking, uh, Pokemon theme because you never know when he's like 13 years old, he might not be interested in Pokemon. So I'm just going to generically make it into like a gaming room with gaming signs and shit like that. Um, I'm going to give him my old computer. I'm going to buy him a monitor like I have, but that's smaller. I'm going to get him a bunk bed that has a desk below it um and then i have like foam padding i'm gonna get and then these led lights that go up on the walls that are pretty cheap on amazon then i'm gonna get for him as well um but yeah i'm gonna turn that into a gaming room for him on his birthday and i'm sure he'll enjoy it um other than that i've been working non-stop i have until monday off right now it is currently um I believe it's February 18th, 2022, um, and his birthday is April 17th, April 15th, yeah, April 15th, so I'm going to try in the next few months to get him a custom room. Other than that, um, nothing else is really going on, guys. I just thought I would give you guys an update two months later, let you know that my weight loss is going pretty good. I got a new vehicle, got a vasectomy, um, and all the things that I plan on doing in the future with my books, action figures, TV, and whatnot. Um, other than that, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys probably in another few months and give you an update then. If you guys didn't like this video, please like and subscribe down below. What the fuck's the rest of it? Please like and subscribe down below. As always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out as always, guys, and have a nice night.